Now to that devastating earthquake in Haiti right now. Nearly 1,300 people are confirmed dead with at least 2,800 injured and hundreds of others still missing. Overnight, a U.S. crew arriving to aid in the search efforts there. Matt Gutman is live in Haiti near the epicenter of the earthquake with all the latest for us. Good morning, Matt. Hey, good morning, Amy. This was the rectory of one of the town's main churches. Obviously, it has been pancaked. Uh, yesterday, they managed to pull three bodies from the rubble here, one of them that of the local priest. But it's believed there may be more people buried inside, and in some ways, that tells the story of Haiti. After this earthquake, 48 hours in, there are still many hundreds believed missing and hundreds more buried in unmarked graves. This morning, that search for survivors after that devastating 7.2 magnitude earthquake struck southwestern Haiti Saturday. The death toll skyrocketing to about 1,300, at least 2,800 injured, hundreds more remain missing. The quake causing the collapse of over 700 buildings, including hospitals, schools, and hotels, crippling infrastructure and roads. At the airport in La Calle, the wounded waiting for flights out. Emanuela, whose leg was injured by falling rubble, had been waiting there for hours. She said her whole house is gone. It was then that we learned about the rest of her family. They have one daughter, a wife, and a son is in the hospital. Farther into that impacted town, that backhoe clawing rubble from Lakaya's main church. Night is falling here, but you can see there are hundreds of people outdoors because they're afraid to sleep inside because of those aftershocks. You can see this church destroyed by that earthquake. And just minutes ago, they dug two people from the rubble here. This as the race to rescue intensifies. On Sunday, a mother and a child pulled from the rubble after the building they were in collapsed. Jocelyn Nelson with the NGO Overture International says he's also seen many unmarked graves, the uncounted. We may never know how many people were killed in this earthquake. No, we never know, we never know because still today we still have people on the concrete. The United States Agency for International Aid and the Coast Guard already on the ground and preparing to join them is Fairfax County, Virginia's fire rescue team, flying in 59 rescuers and four search dogs. We bring 52,000 pounds of equipment. That's enough for us to set up our base camp so that we can break through collapsed buildings as well as search equipment. Haiti's prime minister declaring a month-long state of emergency, the earthquake generating powerful aftershocks, threatening to destroy even more buildings. The quake was located on the same fault line that caused a devastating quake in Haiti over a decade ago. One of the major challenges for all those rescuers coming in is going to be the state of the roads here. Many of them remain impassable. Some of them tangled with debris, some of them prowled by very powerful local gangs. On top of that, that tropical depression bearing down. We're expecting the impacts of that later today. Robin. So much, Pete. All right, Matt, thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.